Ladies and gentlemen, this is Norm Wislock's Spawning Bare Bones Broadcasting. I have been considering things as a citizen of the United States of America. I'm a radio broadcaster, and I'm a, I think an odd, I got autism as far as I can tell. Here you go, here you get your autistic view of what has to happen. This planet is in fiscal straits. The planet is. All your currencies are in collapse. They're based off of more in collapse, and they're based off of more, and you pull more shenanigans to get out of duty and contribution. You can shake a stick, and you're in a state of stingy. And yet, that has to get faced. And you're in a dilemma to face it, let me tell you, you are. The mindset here ain't facing the fact at all. <clears throat> now, what can you do? Well, I've had enough discussions with most of you that the mindset ain't that far off to get a picture and you won't panic. I can tell everyone, most people from who love police officers, um, newspaper people, let's see, average citizens at bus stops, thugs. Um, I mean, I could go on. I'm sorry, I'm not hitting more gauntlet um, military staff. Um, let's see, sorry, I said. Um, children. The wit of many of you is in position to have a conversation and stay accurate about and with the information about this place and find yourself a position to contribute. You are willing to contribute and you have the wits for it too. You're starving and don't have time. That's not the point. The physical, the fiscal, is the Federal Reserve note can't pay its own bills and can't invest in itself anymore. It's a mess. They're investing momentum that's going, you try to treat this, you say it's not a perpetual motion machine, which it is, only, only when you live with it that way. You have, it's a perpetual motion machine that you <clears throat> lived out of perpetual motion. And you've ground a perpetual motion machine to a halt. Taking it out of perpetual motion. Dumb. Well, you've still done it, and it's going dormant, and it's going to come back to perpetual motion, too, I'll tell you that. I don't think this is the end of this planet at all. It's not, it is going dormant, though, and it's the end of your failure, your storyline error, that ain't got no storyline to it that matches this. The end of that. Well, here's what you have to do. Come up with four more currency systems to pay the duty on that. Just a minute I do it, my wallet. And I told the Mason the same thing. Too much broker and concession. You gotta pay the duty on this. There's a serial number on it. What did Jesus tell Jerusalem? You're gonna pay the duty. You ain't gonna get out of it. The Romans ain't gonna let you out of it. Even if they burn you to the ground, they're gonna make this piece of property pay. What a bet. And that piece of property called the promised land is entitled to pay and it don't want to. Abraham paid or the rest of them have raised a surplus there and so long it ain't even funny. You don't care about raising a surplus. They're all taking it in. They ain't putting it out. And anything they're putting out compared to they take it in, I'm sorry, nope. You are overhead. Big time, promised land. Has Judea always been a state overhead? For the Romans, was it overhead? And it didn't have to be. The point is, they, they could be, well, not self-sufficient at this point. Only they could be less overhead than they are. That's for sure. And their superstition and sacred ain't helping overhead. No, it ain't. It's putting it on it. Big time. Too much of this. Nothing going on. Judea. Wanna bet. Now, there are some priceless places here. China, Soviet Union, even Europe, when they ever get priceless. Well, that's... They ain't gonna see themselves priceless for a long time thanks to royalty there. United States, South America, I mean I could go around the whole planet's priceless. So you all got priceless positions. Everyone, some know it, some don't. You're still there, whether you know it or not. Always have been there. Never really been out. Just your mindset's been failing it. That's all. And you're not living priceless at all. You have to. And begin to contribute and build something you can borrow against. Because what you've got now with Federal Reserve Note, you cannot borrow against it. 
what Europe's putting out is worthless. Can't borrow against it. It's not enough. Nowhere. Even Chinese. You think they think within their own system, but you can't live within your own. You have to internationally trade. These are continents. Where else can they trade? Who's got anything to trade? What are you putting out? To trade with China. And you gave them hot air to get them going. What are they building is usable for what has to happen here? What's anybody building for what has to happen where you have to? And you're not inventing around what has to happen at all. You're inventing around an old, outdated, dumb idea that's stolen everything. you got cities in positions of theft, and there's nothing left to steal. The cities all have to be moved, torn down and moved. Done. It's over. They were there to steal. It's over. Nothing left to steal. You rob everything using internationalism. My God, I don't know where it went. Where'd it go? All the continents are robbed. Where'd it go? You've eaten this valley dry. And I'm here to call you on a migration up here and replant this valley. Do you want to bet? That is something monarch do want to bet that's my job I run in DNA and genetics do you understand I come from where you least expect always <laughs> huh I don't ex you think I expected this I expected none of this Perlite's a dumb idea, don't you think? I hate it! It's always failed me! Well, I suppose that is. Someone just said that. Matter of, well, there's a word they just used. I can't even. That's superlative, huh? That's <laughs> superlative. Lord. Better go. Won't be able to upload. I'll return.